Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so I do have something pretty special tonight, as you can see here on the table. This is the MRE Nation Pilot Survival Ration Kit, or Pilot Survival Kit slash ration is what I would call it. So this particular kit and ration this thing contains in between 2,500 and 3,500 calories. I'm not 100% sure exactly. Um, sorry about the uh, the ding there. Let me take care of that for you guys real quick. And also turn off my notifications. There we go. Okay. So, anyway, this thing contains between 2,500 and 3,500 calories. And it has a lot of actual kit in here to help you survive. But also, at the same time, it's going to keep you alive for three days. And it's going to, the means in how you survive, it's going to change that extremely. It's going to make it a whole lot easier to survive with this particular kit. This is something, I know a lot of us are not pilots, obviously. We're not going to have an airplane where we're going to stash this thing in in case we go down. So... This kit can be very useful to us as civilians. We can put this thing in a car. You could, if you wanted to have a, a, a cache where you had things that if anything ever happened, you could do something with these. Um, you could take this and bury it somewhere. I think that would be just fine. Holy, what the heck? And, whoa. CT, dude. Holy cow, my friend. Kick some butt, Smokey. Well, thank you so much for that insanely large super chat, my friend. Um, wow. Holy cow, dude. I've got some really big news tonight as uh, MRE Nation, which is Bob, I believe, who will be making those comments on that, that channel right now. Um, that reminds me also, if you guys are not subscribed to MRE Nation, I would go over there and do that. Personally, that's going to be your best way to keep up with all the crazy stuff that they've got going on over there because they've got promotions happening all the time, new products coming out all the time. It's the most exciting company in the ration world is what I would call it because you look at the other companies that are out there and that have been out there for years, including the companies that supply the military, they're not really doing anything to change the game. Let's just put it that way. They're not doing anything really new. They might come up with a new menu every year or two, uh, which Natick has a lot to do with that. I know that they're... But they, ha these companies have a civilian side where they market to civilians. And as civilians, you want to have a, as much choice in what your survival food is going to be as possible. Holy crap, man. Nathan Stickney just came in with a $30 super chat. And i got to mention that CT's was $69.99. Holy crap, you guys. Man. Um, it always puts the little CA after, so I know that it was Canadian. <laughs> uh, my Canadian brethren. And man, thank you so much, dude. Uh, I see Denise is here. Uh, Tracy Phillips, what's up, dude? Smitty, how you doing, man? CT, I'll make sure to, uh, CT, I'll make sure to make fun of you. Uh, Viper GTS is here. What's up, my friend? Zeno is here. Who else is here? JW, hello. Hey, Salty Croc's here. That reminds me, you guys got to go check out Salty Croc over on eBay, guys, for real. I'm not just, like, trying to shove promotion in your face. Like I really enjoy dealing with him over there, so I wouldn't recommend it unless I would do it myself. Let me just put it that way. So definitely go check him out. What's up, Michael? Uh, Metal Man, hello. Who else we got up in here? Greg, what's happening? Uh, Pat. Hello, Pat Miller. Who else is in here that I have not said hello to? We got 37 folks in here. We got eight thumbs up. Can you guys hit the thumbs up or down if you like or dislike what, what's going on here? Uh, by the way, I do have a couple little, actually three, little rations sitting here. Now, this is what was left over after we did this on a live stream where we talked about Polly a couple weeks ago. And as a matter of fact, his funeral was just Thursday. And, uh, you know, I hope his family's doing all right. I'm glad that they're leaving his channel up. So you guys go check out Polly's Hobbies and Things, or I think that's what it's called. Um, you guys go check out his channel. 
let's see here. Back down to these pilot survival ration kit. Now I'm going to do this right at the beginning. I've got some information I want to throw out there. This is going to be awesome for you guys. And it's really awesome that MRE Nation is doing this. So let me make a couple announcements or uh, statements or whatever. First of all, there's a special code for my live stream tonight. And it's only to do with my live stream. And I'm going to give you that code right now. And then I'm going to explain to you what that code is for. The code is OS10, and that's Old Smoky 10. Okay, hang on. I got I to gotta do this super chat, and then I'll go back to uh, making this announcement. Oh, Smitty! I'm not a big shot, but this is what I... This is... This is what I appreciate about you. About you. <laughs> I think I was supposed to read that in my best Canadian voice. Uh, thank you so much, Smitty. You can put a big old smile on my face, dude. <laughs> uh and I got a good laugh. Even if you didn't mean to type it that way, it came across as pretty Canadian. So thank you so much for that super chat, man. Okay. This weekend's code. MRE Nation just put it up there. It's OS10. That thing is going to be good until Tuesday night, which is September 24th, and it's good until midnight. Now, that is for 20% off your entire order over at MRE Nation, which is a really good... That's two bucks off every 10 you spend. You can't beat that. That's a really, really good discount. I'm really proud to be able to bring that to you guys. Thanks to MRE Nation for letting me do that for you guys. Or for them doing it for you guys, I should say. And uh, letting me bring it to you. So, that is announcement number one. If you, anyone needs any information about that, later on, I'm going to have that. I'm going to have that typed up in a comment, pinned right to the top of the comments of this video once it uploads after we finish up the live. So, if you need any details on that... There will be details on uh, that and a couple other things going on over, over MRE Nation down in the, the pinned comment, which will make it right at the top of the comments of this video right here. So there you go, guys. There's a 20% off discount on your order over there. My standard code also still works over there, the OS 10. That's good all the time, just so you guys know. Uh, I was curious whether it was still good or not, and I found out that tonight. So settle down there, bud. <laughs> Heard his ma's a looker too. Wait a minute, what are we talking about here? Um, Viper, right arm. Is anyone seeing video? I hear it, but see nothing. Um, it's probably just because I'm like, uh, I'm talking about things right now, and I'm going to get into this in just a second. But there's a couple things, a couple more things I want to announce about what's going on this week at MRE Nation. And uh, let's see. I think it's going to be Thursday. They have a new promotion coming out to you guys. To get the details of that, I want you guys to go and check out. They're going to have an announcement video, I assume, over there on the MRE Nation channel on YouTube. So, again, go over there, subscribe to them, turn your notifications on. That way, whenever they do make those announcements, it's supposed to be big. That's about all I really know about it. It's going to be called the Cracker Jack Ration, and there's going to be a prize in each one. That's what I know. So, there you go. Um, also this week, they're coming out with two 48-hour menus, which is going to be huge. Think about a 24-hour ration, and I've seen the 24-hour rations that MRE Nation puts together. So a 48-hour ration is going to be absolutely, insanely huge. I'm going to guess it's going to be probably about 6 to 8 pounds, roughly, and it's going to be humongous. But it's going to be a great way to stockpile and stash food as a 48 hour ration and honestly like their 48 hour ration my little you know my little meal sizes that i typically have i could probably stretch a 48 hour ration into a week's worth of food i might not be living it up every day eating 2,000 calories but i would be happy let's just put it that way um it comes in a duffel bag yeah <laughs> that's funny that they should make up some little uh handled little duffel bag that put those type of rations in that'd be cool okay now this is another big announcement for especially for you guys that ordered the new menus like the ham slice the hot dog the hamburgers those will also be getting shipped out um they're in full production. That's what I was told. They're in full production. They will be getting shipped out, I think, the end of this week. And uh, anybody that ordered those that are on back order, you will be getting those very soon. 
I have personally saw pictures of the finished product, so I can vouch for the fact that these things do look to be completed. The, the weights are correct. Everything must be up to par and ready to go. So, that is big news. The new and then also new old menus, because you know you got the ham slice, the ham slice and the hot dogs. Both of those are, are old previous MRE menus from way back in the day that haven't been around as a fresh menu in a long time. And then we also have the Canadians who do the hamburger patties, uh, which is going to be, I think, similar to what they got going on with the hamburgers. But anyways, so those are a few things I wanted to announce. Also, they're coming out with five new Black Dog Bob rations. It's going to be a 24-hour ration. If you guys know anything about the older Black Dog Bob rations, that's going to be a baseline of what's going on, except uh, I think it's going to be a lot more uh, MRE. Well, there's going to be... I don't know. I don't know that much about them. But if you want to see an old Black Dog Bob ration, I have a video of one of the first... I think it was the first generation Black Dog Bob ration on my channel. So you guys can go check that out. I can't put a link in here right now, but I can go back through and do that if you're re-watching this video later. But just type in Black Dog Bob Ration and it'll come up. I did it in two parts. It's way back in my early days of learning how to edit and learning how to make YouTube videos. So if you want to see some uh, some really rough filming and really rough formatted video, go check out my old Black Dog Bob Ration video. Um, but anyways, he's going to have five menus of those coming up. And there's also going to be five first strike menus that are MRE Nation proprietary menus that they're putting together, making like the the more first strike type foods, obviously the stuff that you can eat on the go that typically you would, it's going to be a more mobile ration. It's going to be a ration that's going to pack the calories in that you're going to be able to eat on the go, which is what you, a lot of people really want that type of ration in our community anyways. We like to have that type of stuff, you know, the Bridgeford stuff and uh, the stuff French toast and stuff, you know, that kind of, that type of stuff, the, the stuff I really like to have also. What else do I have here? Uh, okay. I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and get into this thing and see what is happening with this pilot survival ration kit. Now, this thing has a uh, inspection date of 2023. So we still got a, a solid uh, one of 2023. So what we're about at 1220. Uh, so we got a solid three years and, what, three months? Oops, sorry, guys. Be right back with you. Oh, totally forgot to plug in my microphone this week. Uh, all the sound's going to be coming in from the left. Let me see if I can remedy that for uh, anyone that uses headphones right now because I know that that can be very much of a pain in the butt. Okay, does that sound any better? Probably can't tell much difference, honestly. Uh, Bob, do you ship to Canada? I cannot remember what he said about the Canadian shipping. Seems like he does, but maybe not. Uh, Smitty, you have more than hot dogs. Tracy. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into this thing and see what's going on in this pilot survival kit. I kind of want to fill this thing out. I'll, I'll fill you guys in on what I kind of wanted to do tonight. It just didn't happen. I had phone calls come in. I had a lot of stuff happen right at the time I really wanted to start. I wanted to try to get this started around 7 o'clock tonight. That just did not happen. Uh, I'm glad I didn't announce a time on the live stream because just it wouldn't it wouldn't have worked but anyways if i could have gotten myself an hour of daylight outside i wanted to set this thing up outside and try some of the the survival items that are going to be in here i'm not 100 percent sure of everything in here i did watch a video about this now the, the there is a video out about this miss renee has that video she is the first video that had this pilot survival ration kit these things are 99 99 100 bucks more or less over at MRE Nation. So let's see what is inside of this thing. I did plan on making an outdoor video with this thing, but we're just going to do it live. 
and uh, enjoy. So first of all, as you can see right here, if you see that right there, I don't, you probably can't, yeah, well, kind of, see if I can get the, to focus. That is a hallmark, and that hallmark right there means that this is an official British mess kit. So this is a UK issued mess kit, and it's not the cheap reproduction crap that, uh, that I've looked up on eBay before. I've seen a lot of reproduction kits on eBay, and uh, I have bought reproduction kits before myself, and they're just not... The quality is more or less like a children's toy, is what I would call it. It's more... Uh, it's not something that you'd want to survive more than a week. Heck, maybe even more than a day with. I mean, you might get you by for a day or two, but I think the material would break down. It's also probably some sort of a toxic material, the, the stuff that's just not not a very good quality. So there's a good look inside of the, the bag. This is in just a, a, a typical, regular MRE-style bag that they use over there at MRE Nation. Now let's see what we have just to start off here. Okay, so these this is a non-toxic fuel tablet. I actually uh, I dared Bob to take a bite of one of these when we were at the meetup uh, because they're fully non-toxic fuel fuel tabs. You just I assume you just light the the plastic and all on fire, which would make that a little bit toxic for a second. But you don't have to. You can break it out of there. Also, I'm sure. But anyway, uh, I ended up trying it out myself and it's it's completely non-toxic so there you go <laughs> um the difference between the aluminum stainless steel and galvanized well you don't want to eat you don't eat out of galvanized but uh just i guess it would be only stainless and aluminum oh the cellophane is made from vegetable so it's non-toxic really I did not know that. So the cellophane is also non-toxic. Not only the fuel tab itself, but also the packaging that contains the fuel tab. So I gotta, I gotta get back into this. How many is in here? Four. One, two, three, four fuel tabs. Let's go ahead and just lay them out right there. Then you also have this super, super heavy-duty baggie that you can keep. I don't know, your smoke's in, your whatever. Let's just, uh, let me give you guys a good example of that. Stick my pack of Lucky Strikes down in there. Seal that bag up, like so. And that's gonna keep my smokes nice and dry in a wet, rainy situation or a hurricane situation or whatever situation I may be in that would also make them float while also being waterproof so if you were in a situation like that you could have uh, your floating smokes and still be able to have some some smokes so definitely an awesome little piece of gear or piece of kit Try to get this stuff lined up halfway decent so it doesn't look too out of place. Let's see what else is in the bag. Okay, we have another one of these thick baggies that has all kinds of stuff in it. You got some uh, some pretty standard first aid items. You have some triple antibiotic ointment. Enough for a, you know, sizable little wound. You have some burn aid in case you get burnt. And any, you know, if you're in a wreck or, you know, if it's a SHTF type of situation, you never know what could happen. So you have some burn aid. Uh, some trio rail, some trio rail, oral hydration salts, okay. This helps when you're dehydrated or if you're on some type of travel. It'll keep you from getting like really bad headaches. Um, extreme hiking activities, hiking or extreme activity, outdoor labor, labor type of dehydration, any type of dehydration situation 
these oral hydration salts will infuse your body with the electrolytes that it is sorely, sorely lacking. And uh, it'll get you through until you can get yourself in a situation where you can get back to normal type of drinks and whatnot and get yourself hydrated back to the where you were at or get your back get yourself back to a normal type of uh, body situation then we have a tube of fresh mint anti-cavity fluoride toothpaste and this is a 0.6 ounce net weight 17 grams and it has a best buy date uh, August 2021, which I'm sure that that would be fine. It's toothpaste. I don't really see the that you know maybe drying up a little bit on top. You're gonna knock the the dryness off the top and it'd be fine. Then we also have a survival blanket, a mylar blanket, rescue blanket, 52 by 84. So yeah, you could build yourself a little you know a little lean-to shelter type deal out of this to reflect your fire's heat back into itself to keep you warm at night. Or if you just wanted to go old school, you could wrap up with it and use it as a blanket. Personally, I would probably build a shelter out of it. That's what I would do. And again, you have another one of these heavy, heavy-duty bags to kind of keep all your stuff together, which is uh, could be a very valuable piece of kit. I'm going to set that off to the side right here. It'll still be in view. What else do we have in here? We have an MRE spoon. Or biodegradable MRE spoon. Set that right there. Okay, also we have what is this? Is this a waste bag of some? Okay, this is a water bag. This is going to be Whirl Pack. NASCO, I guess this would be a water bag. MRE Nation, water carrier bags, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so you can carry some water in there and tie them off on the top. That way you can actually carry these around in your pack. Definitely something that would be valuable in a survival situation. A way to transport your water from point A to point B. Even if it's dirty water, you're transporting it back to your camp. So you can get over top of your fire with your mess kit and either boil it or use your water purification tablets and have it purifying on your way back. So there's your water transportation bags. Let me do a little bit better job at folding that up because I didn't do the greatest of jobs. There we go. I think I got it this time. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's never going to fold up the way it was to begin with. So, maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. I'm gentle with it, maybe. There we go. probably should take the lucky strikes out of there so you say you don't get those it's just using that as an example as a way that you could uh, preserve something and keep it dry I think you could probably also maybe let me see here I don't think my phone is going to fit in this but I can give it a try might oh yeah it will okay so even though my phone is waterproof it's only waterproof for a little for a little while and only to a certain depth this i believe you could probably sink this and just leave it i think this bag would keep it uh keep it functioning at a much deeper sink and a lot longer underwater so or if it's raining out you just don't want your phone to possibly get ruined by getting bombarded by water you could also use that to drop your cell phone into what else we have in here? Let's see if I've missed anything. Okay, yep. One more thing inside the bag here before we get to the kit. There is a toothbrush to go along with your toothpaste. 
You gotta keep your teeth clean, no matter whether you're trying to survive or just another day on the range. Okay, so this is the, the big item that we saw in there. This is a real deal British mess kit. It's got the nice fold out handle so you can hold it. And it's very, very sturdy. It ain't no joke. I'll flip it over here and take the uh, innard out. And that gives you your first initial. This is your large pan you can cook in, boil water in. Uh, the possibilities are endless. Also to store your kit in inside of to keep everything protected that's inside of there. It's pretty instrumental that if you do have survival items and you're in a rough situation that you, the items can make it through that rough situation and by being in something like this they're pretty much ensured that they're going to make it through whatever type of situation you're in outside of taking bullet holes bullets um, they can take a pretty good fall etc all right so this is jam-packed full again we have our handle here on our smaller piece of our mess kit I love these mess kits by the way one of my favorite designs of the mess kit I don't know why it's just one of my favorite mess kits the US mess kits are nice I like how they have two sections in the uh, the opposite piece but uh, I do like these ones a lot all right so there we have a piece of ferro rod or a fire striker we're going to take that out of there and see. Maybe. There we go. Let's see what this thing's all about. Well, let me have a place for my trash there. Probably don't have much. But you got your little ferro rod and your striker. I'm just going to use this mess kit. I'll wipe it out here in a minute try not to catch my table on fire at the same time but you can use this also to start yourself a little fire by getting in there and scraping some off like so and then you take your striker and There you go. Make some nice little burn marks in the brand new mess kit. That's all right. Let's set the wipe out of there. Yeah. Mainly, pretty much. Oh, it smells. Smells good. Smells good. Smells like fireworks. So there you go. That will definitely get you a fire started with some. Fairly dry material, but you also have your fuel tabs right there, which will help you out a lot in getting your fire started. But obviously, when you got a pack of matches, that's going to be your first go-to. These are U.S. issued D.D. Bean and Sons standard matches. These are designed to be worked and used in damp environments. Um, obviously, they cannot be soaked and uh, and still continue to work but they can be used in very damp air. Um, after long exposure, several weeks to very damp air. Okay, they, they will not light. Let's just read this. These matches are designed especially for damp climates, but they will not light when wet or after long exposure, in parentheses there, several weeks to very damp air. But... Yeah, if you got them in this kit right here and inside that bag, they're not going to get damp. Um, as long as you don't get a, a puncture in your outer bag, which uh, that I would try to be careful with whenever you're stashing it away or putting it in what, whatever spot you're going to put it and leave it for your emergency use. Okay, now we have some, uh, this is typical U.S. issue butt ration with uh, from the same company. you got two packs so far of the... Uh, the butt ration for toilet paper, napkins. This could be a fire starter. This, I mean, whenever you're looking at a situation like this, this could be whatever you need it to be. You could take it out there and write a note on it and slap it in the baggie, pin it to a tree if you needed to leave a note for someone. I mean, 
there's all kinds of type, all types of stuff you could do with white bleached out paper like that. You could do that with a lot of this stuff. Again, you could write a note on that even. You got two moist towelettes. Now these are typically designed to last you two to three days, this kit. And uh, me personally, I could definitely get by on this for three days, two days so far, what I know about it and what I'm looking at. But let's keep going through the kit here and see what else we have in here. Next, I grabbed a whole stack. Let me scoot this over here so you can see what I'm grabbing. We have a whole stack of the Not Deep Nor Rich coffee. Everybody knows this is my favorite type of coffee in the world. I'm being a little sarcastic there. But <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'd be super happy to have that in this type of situation where I would need it. So I'd be very glad to have that nice little uh, boost of caffeine. Would really make my day to have something like that. A nice hot drink. Oh yeah. So next up, to go along with our coffee, we have four sugars as well to go along with each coffee. There we go. Whoops, it's upside down. So that way you have coffee and sugar, which a lot of folks can't drink coffee unless they got a little bit of sugar to go along in it, so it's good to have that for sure. Plus, you got your carbohydrate boost right there. Can't beat that. Next up, we have these are water purification tablets, and there are two. I believe there are two in here. Okay, contains sodium, blah, blah, blah. How much does it Remove the 400 milligrams. Let's see. How much will this purify? Am I just not seeing it? Or what? These are water purification tablets, but I'm not seeing how much water they purify. That's a product. This product is from Spain. Keep out of reach of children. And use with directions. Out of container. And blah, blah, blah. Let's take a look at the back side. To use, remove the 400 milligram tablet from this packaging. One liter, okay. Or 34 fluid ounces, there we go. So that's a way right there that you can purify yourself two liters of water. Two liters. Now, my tap water right now is boil only. You cannot consume my tap water. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use one of these and see what it'll do to my water. Um, I don't trust my water anytime, but especially when they tell me that I can't trust it. So I really do not like my town's water. It's it's pretty sa it's a pretty sad situation, honestly. But uh, we'll set those right there for now. Actually, that covers up what that is. We'll just put them right here underneath the mess kit, water purification tablets. Next up, we have. What you don't really think of, but these can be very, very useful. You have two very strong rubber bands. You can use these for multiple things, I'm, I'm telling you, especially where you, when you have two of them. If you need an extra hand on something, you can slide it over it, double it up. It can hold something for you. It can do all kinds of, can hold all this stuff together. can do all kinds of stuff. So rubber bands can be very useful in a survival situation. Rub it, rub it, rub it bands. Rub it bands. All right, we'll set them right. Set them right there. Next up, we've got two packs of Smarties. These are the American Smarties. I know Smarties are not like these in, in other countries, but here in America, this is what we call a Smartie, which are little tiny sweet tarts is what I would consider them. Um, little sweet and tart candies. No, little carbohydrate blast, sugar blast. Um, as Bob mentioned before, whenever we were at the meetup, and um, I've thought about this since, and it really does make a whole lot of sense, but just say that you're the guy that needs to be the one that has to stay up during the night to keep watch 
or say you're driving away from whatever disaster it may be, you pull these out, and you do not chew these up when you eat them. You suck these down one at a time, one at a time. That's an important aspect of this because you want to stretch these out as long as possible. And you're concentrating on eating each one. And as soon as one is done, you pop another one in. And you suck that thing down to nothing. That way, these things keep your mind busy. They keep your your mouth busy. They keep you thinking. And they keep you working at eating these. And they also, the sugar doesn't hurt either. So, these things can be a whole lot more valuable than I ever thought they would have been. I put a lot more thought into these things. And I really do like the idea and I, I've actually put the idea into play myself when driving and it does 100% work so whenever you're getting tired or something like that if you got a little piece of candy something like that and you can focus on eating one at a time you know whether a little tiny like that it does help you focus and uh, and keep your mind active All right, next up we have, running out of room, so I'm scooting this thing over as we go. Let me see if I can, there we go. Still got a little room right here. So this is the chocolate chip cereal bar. Look at that production date, 8164. These are definitely the freshest, these are, that's 2018, the 164th day, the Julian date code, but made by sterling foods out of san antonio texas these come in the uh food packet survival general purpose that is the only ration that comes with the chocolate chip cereal bar so outside of that mre nation is the only place i know that you can get the chocolate chip cereal bars these are the exact same ones that are issued to the u.s military in the food packet survival general purpose these things are 280 calories each and that's a little tiny cereal bar in there and I'll, I'll I'm not a chocolate chip fan honestly I don't like like I'm not I don't really like chocolate chip cookies or anything like that but these bars are really good there's something about the chocolate in them, the way it just dissolves and, and it's really good stuff and you get two of those as well so that in itself will be your meal you can make a whole meal out of that one bar right there 280 calories even if you're you're pretty daggone hungry if you eat one of these it should take away your urge to need to eat so there's two of those we also have two of these high energy bars made by MRE star now these MRE Star Energy Bars are actually some of the better energy bars that I've ever had. I've had quite a few different ones. And these ones right here, the calorie count on them is really high, 410 calories. you got to think that's probably roughly about two of these bars, I would say. Let's see. Lengthwise, yeah, it's a little bit taller. And this is a little bit thicker. So, yeah, this equals out to probably two of these. Um, maybe there's a little bit less mass here. Let's see. What do we got here? 56 grams on that. And this is 50 grams. Really? Are you kidding me? Huh. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised. The compression that is going on inside of this bar is just absolutely nuts. Now, this is a high-energy bar, but this right here weighs almost the same as this high energy bar right here so we'll be checking those out all right next up we have two instant hot chocolate mixes chocolate hot chocolate supreme i'm interested to find out what this tastes like one uh it's 170 calories so honestly i mean you could get by with having that for breakfast as your whole meal so easy get by with that as a meal um so you're definitely going to be able to get by for two days looking at this if you if you break this out for two days for one man or you know two days or one day for two men or two people 
then you're going to have one of these each so you can have that as your lunch or dinner uh, again with the high energy bar you can have that for your breakfast and then you can have a coffee whatever time you need it and whatever time you need it to the the most boost so yeah definitely also in here we have two little miniature glow sticks now we'll check out one of these here in a minute you could use this for all kinds of things you know i'm sure most of you guys have a little fishing kit laying around or whatever you could tie that onto your string and use it as a bobber or you could do a lot of things with this you can it'll obviously help you see at night there's numerous uses that you can have for a little chem light like this and uh you know, use your imagination. Anything you can think of that you can need light for or want to signal with or anything like that. So you got two of those. I don't know how to display those inside this uh, rift of stuff here. Okay. Now this, I think, maybe, was supposed to keep these together like so. Am I mistaken? I don't know. I don't know what that's for. But there it is. So I'm going to set that right. Nope, I'm not going to set it there. Um, let's set it right there. There we go. Next up, we have a little pencil sharpener. And whenever I saw this, I was like, what the heck? What are you going to do with a little pencil sharpener like this? First of all, it's really heavy duty. It's solid metal. It doesn't feel like cheap junk or anything. It does feel like it's it's going to be a solid piece of product. And it's got your little razor blade attached in there. Now, what it, I was told that you would use this for is if you wanted to uh, get you a little stick filed down to fit in there, you can put yourself a really nice, sharp little point on a stick. Or, obviously, if you needed to sharpen a pencil to be able to write with or, or whatnot. And your shavings from this will be nice, tender to start you a fire with. So, multiple uses for this that I really didn't think of when I first saw it. And uh, I'm sure there are other reasons that we could come up with or things that we could think of that we could use this for. That's the beauty of a survival situation. You use things for completely different reasons than they were designed for. And uh, you find uses for everything so there's the pencil sharpener okay now this is a, a, a real deal survival knife this is what comes in uh, like a a military kit uh, EDC kit everyday carry kit I have seen these I actually have one of these that belonged to my dad I don't know how I ended up with it that he had from when he was in the army don't ask me how i ended up with it because i really couldn't tell you now i know you can change the blades out on these things but i'm not going to mess with that right now i think it slides out that way but you can somehow i think swap the blades out i could be wrong about that too but these things right here are amazing we will be using this to open up anything we open and use out of here but there's your little everyday carry razor blade knife you could shave with that as well you could do just about anything with that there you go <laughs> that is how sharp it is <clears throat> now i got a nice little uh, bald spot on my arm nice okay so there is your little razor blade knife there's one more thing in this kit it's right here this is a disposable folding camp stove as you can see right up here uh, you can use it for fire for first aid for hygiene to have hot water to rinse with to purify your water and shelter okay but let's take a look at the actual stove itself so here is our stove take a look at that a little bit dirty i don't know why but let's get this thing folded up let's look at our instructions right here number one it says to fold down 
these these right here so is there a better top or bottom let me take a look not really so we're just going to fold these down like this on both sides you can be obviously mimicking from one side to the other doing the exact same thing number two you're going to fold up the long bends fold them straight up like so Pretty close. Bend that in a little bit more. And then you're going to take your end flaps and you're going to bend those in like this, which will help contain your fire that you're going to have going on inside your. Sorry about that, guys. Lost you guys for there for a second. But uh, I don't know if you guys even saw me fold in the two end flaps. Let me see here. Go to the live chat super chats that is uh ct nathan and smitty so far on the insane generous super chats thank you guys for that back to the live chat here okay so there's what one side that's what it's going to look like and i really do kind of want it to look exactly how i think it should so try to level that out nicely and then on this end, you do the same thing, fold those in, like so. Make it nice and level. And there's your stove. Nice little miniature stove. Kind of looks like our little mini mess kit. <laughs> but that is what we're going to do. We're going to get... Uh, let's, uh, let's boil some water. Let's do that. Yeah. Let me get something up here <clears throat> to start a fire on. We're going to move a lot of this stuff over out of the way. So I'm going to use the small, the small kit to put the stuff back into that we're not going to use right now, that we don't really need. We know that we can start a fire with, uh, this stuff, with your butt ration slash toilet paper, our rubber bands, We'll throw our, uh, we're going to try out our uh, hydration salts and see what those taste like. We don't need our burn aid right now. I think everybody knows it looks like a gel. It's for a burn. Same with the triple antibiotic ointment. You want to keep the toothpaste out and the toothbrush. Give those a try. Okay, you guys know what's up with the uh, water carry bags. We'll keep one of these out. I'm going to put up one of the hot chocolates. Keep one of those out. We'll keep a thing of Smarties out. Put a thing up. Uh, we'll keep one high energy bar out. Put one up. We'll keep out a coffee. Uh, might even try these water purification cat tablets out. Why not? So, there's our coffees. Separate the sugars back out there. Should have took a picture of that while I had it all laid out. Oh, it looks like Fireman Food has made it here. Last week, we uh, wished his dad a happy birthday, his 91st birthday last week. How awesome is that? Also, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, was uh, G. Schultz's birthday. So, don't ask me which, which birthday it was, because I couldn't tell you. Now, guys... I'm not going to open a wet wipe. I'm just going to keep that in my kit. I think you guys know what a wet wipe looks like. If you guys want to see this, let me know right now in the comments, and I'll leave one out and open it up. So, same with the toilet paper. I mean, you know what? We'll open up a toilet paper, too. Why not? Why not? Sorry about that, guys. I think uh, went to buffer in there again. And uh, let me see if I can do anything to remedy that. As far as my internet goes, I think I might have something going on. I think my son might be on it. Hey, Ethan! No, he's not answering me. So, um, I thought that this did come with a can opener, but it did not. And that's something else, too. If you want to open this thing up and add whatever you want to it, you could do that. And I think you could even, don't quote me on this, and don't take this as gospel, because, listen, I'm not telling you this will work or it won't work. But these bags, the way these are sealed, this is like a heat seal, 
and I think you could probably open it up, and if you wanted to add something to it, like Renee just said she added a Fred to her kit, you could open the bag up and then take like a, a hair straightener or something like that. If you guys have one of those chip resealers that you run across, you could maybe open it up and then slap that on there, pinch it down for three seconds or so, four seconds, and maybe reseal your bag. Again, don't quote me on that. That's just a thought that I just had. Whether or not it'll work or not, I do not know. Okay, so all that stuff. I wanted to uh, give that a shot. I'll grab a pencil here in a minute. We're going to keep one of these chem lights out. We're going to use our knife. Use that. We're going to use a fuel. One of, okay, so that's what we're going to do with this bag right here is put our fuel back in it. Like so. I do not need this spoon. We're just going to test out and try out what we can out of this kit and see what's up. Okay. Now, let me get my mess kit up here. I'm just going to use that as a base. We'll start it right here. Now, I would like to start this with the striker if I can. I don't know if I can or not. But we're going to give it a shot. There we go. Go ahead and get this bad boy going. But first, I need to empty this out. Over here. We're going to put water inside of here and I probably should clean this out first seems how it's brand new so uh, you guys give me just a second let me go rinse this out and uh, just wash it out really quick like I said where it's a brand new kit you're going to want to wipe it down before you use it and uh, that's what I'm going to do just for any type of metals or anything that might be uh, just residually laying on there so I'll be right back So there it is cleaned out should be good to go put some water in this sucker before we get started and yet I have hot water on standby that's what I have so that's what I'm going to use um, you know what I've got some cold water some room temperature water Are you resealing just the bag? Didn't think that went through. Um, Pat Miller. Fred's just going to hang out in the mess kit in case you need some emergency poetry. <laughs> uh, Um, I do think that the, you know, it's possible that you could reseal a bag if you needed to. Um, I'm not, I can't guarantee you guys that's going to work, like I said, but it's worth a shot in a situation where you want to add something like that and uh, continue on. Bought my first MRE yesterday because of me. Uh oh, and now I can't get enough. Menu 22 US MRE. Keep up the live streams. Well, thank you so much, Bad Monk. Uh, 2230. Uh, appreciate the uh, super chat there, man. So menu number 22, that's going to depend on what year 
you got that from. So what menu 22 was it? What menu was that? If I may ask. Um, since I'm kind of paying attention to the chat here for, for the time being. What else do we got going on here? Oh yeah, you know what? Let me just, uh, let me just break out my canteen. Again, thank you guys all for the uh, insanely generous super chats. You guys are too nice. So we are using room temperature water here. Good evening from Illinois. James. What's up, James? And it's going to take a, a substantial amount of water here. Because we got numerous things that we're going to use for water. You know what? I'm going to add some of my hot water that I have on standby here to this. And I have a new canteen, thanks to Shocker. Uh, one without a cracked lid now. He hooked it up. I appreciate all you uh, new faces in the chat here. Let me add a little bit of this hot water up in here. There we go. That is a lot of water there now, guys. That's half that large thing right there. It's probably, I mean, I'm going to guess around... I'm going to guess that could probably hold around 64 ounces of water. 60. I mean, it's going to hold a lot. Um, a lot more than what you would think. I would like to actually test that out and see exactly how much that thing will hold brimful. All right. I got my water in there. Let's go ahead and get this fire rolling. Let's see if this thing's going to start it. Maybe if I don't knock it over, that'd be a good idea to not. It's wanting to light. I bet if I'd open the bag up, it'd probably fire right up. Unless it's burning. I just don't want to catch my table on fire at the same time. guys tell that I'm concentrating here a little bit of tender a little bit of tender let's see if this match will do it let's see if the match is enough maybe maybe not definitely uh I can light that match with this. You would think. Marilyn is wonderful, and we are going to enjoy one of her wonderful gooey butter cakes tomorrow. That reminds me, you guys need to go check out Miss Marilyn's gooey butter cakes and an allen.com and an allen.com all right i give up on the uh the striker for now guys i guess i could have put a piece of toilet paper in there but it would have stunk up my whole house so that i'm not going to do there we go fuel tablet should uh, take right off and use their matches to get one get it started there there it is set our water up there get a good look at that There you go. 
Um, by the way, thank you so much for that super chat there, Tracy. Super, super appreciate that, man. Now let's see what that fuel tablet does to the bottom of this mess kit. I'd say it's going to be uh, looking a little worse for wear by the time that we get this water boiling. But uh, that's part of it, man. It is what it is. Now, as far as the, uh, the odor of the fuel tablet, I got a little whiff of kerosene somewhat going on there. It's kind of what it smells like. Got a little whiff of plastic burning. But it's not overwhelming and it's not really, really strong. Um, even though I'm doing this in the house, I'm going to open a window right here. And I may end up having to put it out, end up needing to put it out because this is a, this is definitely an outdoor sport that I'm engaging in right here. But we'll see. Get the fan turned around there, blowing the uh, fumes outside. Now, while we're waiting on this, let's see if I can scoot it over here a little bit out of the way. Let's check out what else we have in here. We have our chocolate chip cereal bar. Again, like I mentioned before, these things only come from the food packet survival general purpose. That's the only way that you can get these outside of MRE Nation that I personally know of. So, oh, and some of Miss uh, Miss Marilyn's coffee at ParkAvenue.com. ParkAvenue.com. Interesting. Uh, can't wait to try the pumpkin uh, butter cake. I think that's what I had last year. I think it was pumpkin, and it was awesome. It was like a it was like a pumpkin pie filling kind of, and then it was kind of a little bit more bready than what a pumpkin pie filling would be. And uh, then the gooey butter cake, like crust on the sides and the bottom. Really, really good stuff. So I think I might have had that one last year. But let's check out the uh, chocolate chip uh, cereal bar. Again, like I said, these are pretty special, man. I don't think you guys, a lot of people don't realize how special it is to get one of these because again the only way you can get the chocolate chip one is the food packet survival general purpose um, modern day so let's it's got a nice little tear notch on it right there I'm gonna rip it open take a look at this bad boy it does have a somewhat of a glisten to it on the end right there see the chocolate chips all the way through it oh look at that side even more chocolatey chippity looking on that side there's the whole thing outside of the package very small but very heavy and very dense obviously this weighs the same amount as one of the high energy bars almost this is 50 grams and the uh, high energy bar is 56 grams so I'm gonna give that a try now it will immediately start melting on your fingers the chocolate that they use in these is kind of odd I mean it does melt on your fingers fairly quickly but it's got this weird somewhat weird texture to it but I like it the way it melts in your mouth there we go give it a try You know that tastes a lot different than all the other ones that I've ever had. Because I think the freshest one I've ever had has probably been 15 years old. Well, maybe 10 years old. I think 2008. And I had it in 2018, probably. So. Whoa! Bad Monk again! After eating the first one, I went and bought a case. So I'm going to be having a fun month in the bathroom <laughs> or or not in the bathroom because sometimes man i'll tell you sometimes them mres will stop you up like a like a cork and just like you put it like you put a cork in it and i'm done you won't see the bathroom for a day or two i'm not even exaggerating seriously 
Thank you so much for that super chat, though. And I, I did ask you which menu 22 you had. And uh, the modern menu 22 would be what? Was that Asian beef strips? Let me look it up. I will just look it up. Let's see here. Do I have? I do not. Huh. How about that? Um, Asian style beef strips? What? I don't... I don't know. We're about to find out, though. Um, I'm just going to go to modern menus. And we will see. Okay, so 2019 menus. Here we go. Which I, I, I doubt it was 2019. Sorry about that, guys. It uh, kicked off on me again. I know I may know why. I think my battery is about to die on me. Plug myself in here. The new menu is uh, beef goulash. You are correct, Zeno. Uh, Bad Monk it says it was surprisingly good. Oh, it was a it was Asian style beef strips. That's what I was thinking. Menu twenty two was. I wasn't one hundred percent sure though. So, let's see. You probably had a 2017 or 18. Let's just go with 2017. And I'll see exactly what you had in your menu. You had the Asian-style beef strips with vegetables. You had wet pack fruits. Chunky peanut butter, which I love the chunky peanut butter. It's only second to the original or the uh, chocolate pe peanut spread, which I freaking love. That stuff is amazing. Um, if you guys haven't got to try it, okay, Bad Monk says it was a 2018. Let's go to 2018. Here we go. That was the last year for that menu. Let's go down here to menu number 22 and see if there was any changes. Let's see. Still had the uh, wet pack fruits, the chunky peanut butter, jelly or jam, probably grape, if I was to guess. Um, patriotic sugar cookies, a wheat snack bread, cocoa beverage powder, and uh, accessory packet B, which was... What's accessory packet B this year? Is it not? Wow, that's interesting. Huh. So the way they have this one listed on MREinfo.com, I do not know what's in a... Oh, there we go. Accessory packet B. Beverage base uh, with the sugar-free drink, chewing gum, sugar-free, uh, towelette, salt, and toilet tissue. That was what was listed. So accessory packet B does not have the coffee, whereas accessory packet A and C in 2018 do contain coffee. Um, and accessory packet C has that weird sugar substitute, uh, sucralose, which, ugh, I am not a fan of, I'm sorry. I just do not agree with the whole fake sugar, fake sweetener crap. So, not, this thing's, there's not a lot of heat escaping out the sides or anything, which is a good thing. So that little stove is containing that heat and flame up inside of there and I would like to take you guys off the stand and go look underneath this let me see if there's anything to look at uh, nope not really yep that's just barely it's kind of barely burning let's uh there we go I think uh, how where I, where I have my ends very very closed together the flame's not really kicking up very high, but that's okay. I'm cool with that. Next up, we're going to take a look at our high energy bar, which, hang on a second. I think I have one of these right here that I've opened. Yeah. Instead of opening another one, I have one right here from like a week ago that I have not finished. It's almost, it's not even close to finished. But right there it is. I'll take a look at that. There you go. That is what the high energy bar looks like. Let's give it a try.
so the high energy bars they have a very light tanginess to them and then they're very buttery some a little bit gritty I would say from the sugar that's uh that's very prevalent inside the flavor of those um, that's something that could be quite versatile as well you could use your coffee and your sugar and crumble that up and put your coffee and sugar inside of that and a little bit of water and mix that up and turn it into you know a coffee flavored type of a little gruel I guess is what you would call it a little mix up of like a oatmeal type deal It'd be I'm sure it would be like a thick paste it's something we could give a try I'm sure um, that's just one idea there's not a whole lot of anything else to um, to flavor that off with let's take a look at these oral hydration salts and see what's going on with these um, how much does this make let's see directions wow this is supposed to be added to one liter of drinking water one liter jeez well I guess we could do that well I'm not quite gonna do the one liter thing I don't think I will let's see let's maybe do half a liter where's our liter mark here so half a liter would be what 500 milliliters is that correct I need to double check myself. How many milliliters? In a liter. One thousand. Okay, so yes, half of this, or I mean, a, a full <laughs> five hundred milliliters, right here, will be half of this package. And that's going to be still a lot of liquid. Hmm. We're going to do a quarter. Because cup size, that's about what I've got. Um, all right. 250 milliliters, and we'll put a quarter of our, actually, that that is 500 milliliters in itself, this bottle of water. We'll use our Gremlins cup. The Gremlins! Which I have my Mari Info meetup huggy on. But again, just think, guys, you can make a whole liter of rehydration liquid with this. And I'm going to use our knife here to cut this open. It's very effective when it comes to that. Nice little opening there. About a quarter of the package let me see here pinch it off there that's about a quarter I would say roughly probably a little bit more than a quarter Two hundred fifty milliliters. Let's see what this stuff tastes like. I'm I'm curious to find out. The stove definitely has a strong aroma of kerosene. It's 
definitely not odorless by any stretch of the word. So even outside, I think this would uh, this would definitely give away your position. I think somebody could track you down with the smell. Let's take a look at this. So there's a good look at what it looks like after it's mixed. There's a few floaties going on in there, but it's pretty much mixed up. Yeah, maybe I could do a little better job than that. Come on. I'll tell you what. I put about half and half extremely hot water with room temperature water in that mess kit, and it's still not boiling. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it would be boiling a little bit quicker than what it is, but... Uh, here we go with the oral hydration salts. Let's give these a try. Set that down there. There we go, down the hatch. Oh yeah, that tastes like crap. Ooh. Okay. Let me see here. No artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. So, it's exactly what you would think it would taste like. It just tastes like salt water. New Who formula, or H W H O formula, whatever. Um, I think they need to add a little flavor to this. A little lemon, a little lemon-lime, a little something. Uh, ingredients, glucose, dextrose, anhydrous, uh, trisodium, citrate di dihydrate, Sodium chloride, potassium chloride. So, it tastes like, uh, it tastes like salt. I mean, duh. Yeah, pure isotonic. No flavor, though, is the problem, uh, Mr. Peter. My Polish friend. Uh, the way of the road is different than the book of the road. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I know what you're, I know what you mean by that. Um, this I'm not going to drink this. You know, in, in a survival situation, sure. When I when my body needs it and it's craving that salt, that electrolyte boost, but I don't need it right now. Um, this is like, this is probably a whole day's worth of sodium in the the 250 milliliters, or at least a half a day's worth. Let's see what the nutritional values are on this. Let's just take a look here. Sodium, sodium, sodium. It does not say what your daily values are. This is kind of weird. So there's your... Uh, this is composition. This is not uh, your nutritional facts. It's just composition. So there's 2.6 grams of sodium chloride potassium chloride is 1.5 grams uh, trisodium citrate dehydrate 2.9 grams glucose dextrose anhydrous uh, 13.5 grams um, total car carbs is uh, 13 grams and calories is 50 so there's actually some caloric value in this 50 cal I don't know how it does not taste like it should have any caloric value but okay I will take their word for it, but I'm done with that. I'm done. Stick a fork in me, because I'm done with that. Let's check out our instant hot chocolate drink. Hot chocolate supreme. Let's, uh, directions, to do this. six ounces of hot water. Okay. That's fine, and I, I, I know I don't need to because it's got a nice little tear notch on it right there. But I just want to use my little razor blade knife again because it's so stinking handy. Love the little thing. And uh, as soon as I cut that open, a really nice smell of chocolate that is overpowering that kerosene smell that's coming from the, uh, the fuel tab cup has a hard line in it from the uh, from my coffee from I guess last week. Hang on, let me see if I can wipe that out of there. Get the 
crumbs off my table. Come on, get off of there. Crumbs. Crummy crumbs. Crummy crumb crumb crumbs. Okay. Let's check it out. That's a lot of powder. A lot. A lot more than what I'm even used to with the, uh, like the USMRE, like, <laughs> this cup is up to right there with powder right now. It's a lot of powder in there. So, let's test the water here. I mean, it's warm, but it is not hot like I would like for it to be. Um, you know what? I'm done with this experiment, guys. It's just the, the smell is killing me. So this has to go. And looks like the fuel tab is getting down to its... To the end, anyway. Put that out for now. And I'm going to go ditch that water here in a minute. And we'll check out what's going on on the bottom of my mess kit. The brand new mess kit. And of course, that stove, you can unfold that thing and reuse that thing as many times as you want to until eventually folding and unfolding, it would I, I'm sure it would end up breaking eventually, but I would say that you would get more uses out of that stove than, uh, than you would need. And obviously, you could use little sticks and, and whatnot as fuel to stuff inside that as well. So let's check this out. I'm going to try just the hot chocolate on its own. And that's more than six ounces of water, I can promise you that. More like eight. Give it a good stir real quick. Tons and tons of powder up in this bad boy. Wow, lots and lots of powder. Very thick. This hot chocolate's a lot thicker than I initially thought it was going to be, which is probably a good thing. I've had some pretty uh, thin tasting hot chocolates before that just didn't didn't really hit the spot for me. Now before I go any further, I'm going to go ditch this this hot water, which is not going to be easy for me to do. Uh, I'm going to just set the mic down. I'll be right back, guys. Let me... Yep, just give me a second. I'll be back. kind of what I had expected. Underneath we have, well, I could just dump water all over my my set here, like a dummy. Let me just wipe the inside out really quick because I want this paper towel to be a little bit wet anyway. Get my microphone back up here and then we'll take a look at the bottom of this mess kit and see if we can't clean it up really quick. So there you go kind of in the shape of the Hesbit stove and it's not all going to wipe off really easily I can see I'm probably going to have to take some sort of a sponge to that with a like a scouring pad type end to it but there you go after one use with the fuel tabs and the stove didn't even get the water up to boiling like I wanted even though I started out with uh, about 50% or more of hot boiling water so I will attempt to get that clean but I seriously doubt that's going to come clean just being honest with you I don't think that's going to come off there so it is what it is 
Um, I'm not not super impressed with the fuel. When using the large pan, you have to open up the wings a little, and it takes wait takes a good two tabs to boil water. Yeah, that's why I only filled it up about halfway. I, I figured you know less mass it should get it to boiling, but and starting with uh, with some really decent almost hot water to begin with. But yeah, I'll hit that with the scrub pad. It should come on. That's pretty deep though. Yeah, it'll come off. You can see that I'm I'm getting through there a little bit. Yeah, a little scrub pad. It'll come right off there. But anyway, I want to see how much. Uh, well, that's got a really nice kind of frothy top to it. I like that. Now this has um, this has a lot of calories in it if I remember properly. Let me take a look at that again. I think it was like 170. Yep, 170 calories. Um, we've got a gram of dietary fiber. 33 grams of total carbohydrates with 11% of your daily value. That's not too bad. Uh, 24 grams of sugars. 220 milligrams of sodium. 9% of your daily value. That's kind of high. But that's all the type of stuff that you want in a survival situation. That's exactly what you're going to be looking for. Things to replenish your body's carbohydrates and sodium levels. So, let's see. Oh, man. That's actually really good. That has a really nice milk chocolate flavor to it it's really thick even though I added a little bit too much water I know that that I know I added about eight ounces so I'm about two ounces over what it recommends but uh, that's one of the tastiest things that I've had in here so far and I think it's going to go really well with the chocolate chip cereal bar that's another thing, like you could mix this up and make a really chocolatey chocolate, you know, mix it up and, and mix it in your drink and have you a nice little bowl of chocolate chip cereal and that in chocolate milk type of deal, hot chocolate, like a hot chocolate oatmeal. But uh, I'm telling you, these cereal bars are something else. Having a fresh one, really, really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Taking a drink of that after a bite of that just instantly melts the chocolate in your mouth. If I was to stick that in there, all that chocolate would just melt off really quick. I mean, I could try. It's immediately melting. I'm not even exaggerating. Mm. It's definitely a good combination. So I really don't want to mess up my hot chocolate with the uh, deep rich coffee. So where did uh, I actually need this? Maybe I can clean my other little cup up here to make some coffee in. This thing smells really good. Got some like I don't know. Must have got some sort of coffee on this thing or something on the outside of it. As it's just setting on the side of my set here and has been for weeks because I never ever use this cup. But with this deep rich, the size of this cup will be perfect. Little teeny tiny. 
it doesn't hold much at all. So we'll take a look at this deep rich, and I'm going to try to mix it, you know, the best I can, knowing what I know about it. Whether it, you know where it's not so deep nor rich, if you add less water and uh, make it more concentrated, it's not as bad. I mean, it's not bad tasting if you mix it properly, but if you mix it uh, the way it recommends, it's just not not very good in my personal opinion. Let's uh, let's give this thing about four ounces or so. There we go. That's probably about four ounces because that is a teeny tiny little cup. I think that cup will only hold about seven ounces brimful. It might look bigger than that on screen, but trust me, it's not. It's, it's just wee tiny, teeny tiny little cup. It's like not much wider than the spoon, especially towards the bottom where it tapers down. That's actually got a decent smell coming off of it. <laughs> Dissolve in your mouth for correct... Yeah, I know, right? Dissolve the coffee with the sugar in your mouth for correct strength. For the correct mixing instructions. But, uh, yeah, with about as much saliva as you can bring up in your mouth. So, there it is. Mixed down to about... Again, that's about four ounces, I would say. And, uh... I don't know. Let's give it a try. <sighs> Very hot. Okay. Um, I mean, it smells good. That, that'll that brighten your day on any day. Especially in a survival situation where you have coffee on standby. Um, mixing it very lean like this, it does give it a lot stronger, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but it gives it a stronger coffee flavor. Um, I think maybe the sugar packets could stand to be a little larger, um, because I really can't, I mean, it's not like drinking completely black, but it's pretty close. So there's not much, uh, sweetness to it at all. It's better than nothing, though. It's better than not having any sugar in my you know my personal opinion but there it is so it does look a lot uh, darker mixing it really lean like this and it's so hot I can't get a really strong reading on the flavor, so I'm going to let that cool down a little bit and give it another try here shortly. Get these hydration salts over here out of the way. Should have dumped that out whenever I dumped the mess kit out. Okay. So let's, uh, let's get this stuff here out of the way. little stove in there for now and I've got water on my mess kit that I need to wipe off get all this stuff. Oh, well, I got one more thing I want to test out with you guys. Get this high energy bar out of the way for now. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm going to drop everything numerous times before I get to that point. It doesn't matter if I drop it. I'm just going to continue to keep rolling with it. There's our... Yeah, I do like that hot chocolate a lot. Really, really good stuff. Basically, if you had this as a... You know, as a, you know if you was using this for a couple, two people, to survive for one day, this kit, or if you was by yourself and you had this kit 
surviving off of it for two days. You would live pretty good for those two days. Yep, it's a one-time use only, 20% off, OS20. That's correct. It's a Old Smoky 20 OS20. That's a 20% off, a one-time use only coupon for MRE Nation. You guys use that thing up. Go over there, get your 20% off, and uh, that is good until Tuesday at midnight. So one time it's a you know for this live stream announcement only and uh, i'll put that information in a uh, comment afterwards but uh oh yeah i was going to try out the uh, toothbrush as well i really don't want to brush my teeth right before i eat because it'll make everything taste weird i mean i guess i could but I may still end up doing the uh, water purification towel too, but anybody who wanted to see the, uh, the toilet paper, there we go. A considerable amount there. I think you could get by with uh, with doing your business one good time with that. I mean, this I'm du kind of doubling it up to make it more like a two ply there, um, maybe even three or four ply. <laughs> I'm just grabbing random sheets there but uh you know there there's a substantial amount of uh of tp here or whatever you may need it for and again i'm not like that right there is too actually I'll just see so that would be two ply and then this is like four i think but yeah i think uh what is there, 30-some sheets in here? Something like that. So there's a considerable amount there. I mean, it fluffs up a lot, too. You can see it's it's not bad. It's not bad for what it, for what it is, especially in a situation where you didn't have any. Let me tell you guys, this would be one of the most valuable things in your kit. Because if not, you're using leaves. Let me just say. Um, and if you've never done that before, let me just tell you, you don't want to. It sucks. <laughs> Alright, here's something I wanted to try out. Okay, the pencil sharpener, I think we get, like, I don't have a pencil handy, I don't think. Um, or do I? Oh, I do! Ha! Huh, what are the odds? So I, I happen to have a pencil. I mean, just imagine it being a little stick. Or if you had a pencil on you, but it's actually a pretty decent quality little sharpener. That's what I should have done to get my tender. I didn't even uh, I didn't even think about making some tender on top of that, but yeah, put a nice little sharpened point on there for me. Now let me see if I can demonstrate. De de demonstrate. Let me see if I can demonstrate. Let me see if I can demonstrate the uh, da, 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 the chem light. Let's just find out. Draw us a picture. I'm not very good at drawing, J JC. I went to school with a with a boy named JC. And uh, you spend all night over at his house sometimes and stuff. It's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Oh, instantly. Nice. Um, it looks a lot brighter on camera than it actually is. Um, but it's got a long ways to go. I've got a lot of shaking up here to do. Yeah, as you can see does provide some light which is good there we go beans and wings beans and wieners yeah so uh this thing i was told um bob told me it has in between 25 and 3500 calories in it um, so I don't know exactly what the calorie count is on this, this particular 
survival kit right here. But uh, yeah, a little Kim Light again. You can do a lot with that. Use your imagination. Kind of a cool effect on camera in the dark. I kind of like it. it. Looks really neat on camera. It kind of looks like uh, like it's radioactive or something. Even though a lot of times the radioactive uh, stuff is blue, which I did not know that until I started doing some research on, uh, like I don't know, I was just researching Chernobyl and um, Hiroshima. Uh, wait, Hiroshima, Hiroshima, where they had the uh, three units meltdown or four, three or four units meltdown. Right, let's get the light back on here. Now, I know I'm already an hour and 40 minutes into this, but guys, can we see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. I didn't even have to turn the lights out. Look at that. Okay, so. This, 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 this MRE. This MRE right here, menu number one. Came from Narutaki Kun. Narutaki Kun. Uh, last week. I got a box from him last week. And uh, this was contained inside that box. This, a menu 5 spaghetti and a menu 4 omelet with ham. I don't know. I know. Actually, I do know. They did not all come from the same case. This one is Sinpak. One of them is a Rafco. Or maybe two are Rafcos. I don't know. There's Rafco and uh, and Sinpak, both in that box. There was three MREs in that box. He said that they were stored well. So there's that. I have that, or I have this IMP 2018 menu number one beans and wieners. Or we can tap into this. A menu number four from 2016, 5 2016. So, what is that? May? Yeah, May. May of 2016. And uh, and have some of it. Which, what the heck? Did I open the bottom of this thing? What, what's going on here? It doesn't even look like I opened this thing. You guys see that? I know I did, though. I mean, the ends are cut, but. And I didn't retape it. I know I didn't retape it. That's weird. Huh. Awesome. Anyways, so there's uh, some. some. options for. edibles right now. I guess I'm stuck at living vicariously through others. Even with the discount, I'm still struggling to afford these things. Oh. Let's see here. Well, uh, oh yeah. Guys, if you spend $79.99 over at MRE Nation, Uh, and I know you can obviously you can use the code OS10 so you can get $100 worth of stuff for $80 as long as it like it literally has to be $100 and it will put you at the over the $79.99 if you spend over $79.99 so $80 exactly free shipping free shipping inside the US so that is a huge plus, guys. I don't, you know, I don't know how many of you guys, I know a lot of you guys do buy and have things shipped a lot and ship things a lot. You guys know how expensive shipping is. Shipping is a, is a large part of your cost a lot of times, and when you buy things, so therefore, having free shipping on anything seventy nine ninety nine and over, or over seventy nine ninety nine. Sorry, over seventy nine ninety nine. Let me make sure I wrote that down correctly. Pretty sure. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, maybe 
maybe I didn't write it down. I did not write it down. Nope, I didn't write it down. But anyways, I know that's what it is. Free shipping on $80 and up. Mm. So does anybody have a preference of something that they'd want to see on the table here? I don't even know what's left in this thing. Yeah, these are all three going to be good meals for sure. And I'm going to have to, I'll, I'll fly through them, obviously. Uh, gun dog, the brown bagger. Not going to happen, Smitty. I don't, I don't cave to peer pressure, my friend. And, uh, really, I don't want to ruin a ration. Especially not a brown bag. And that's what I would be doing. I would definitely be ruining it. Uh, would not be uh, properly consumable. I mean, I, I'm sure I could eat it, maybe. But the problem with doing that with a brown bag is you don't know what's going to be good and what's not going to be good. So, sorry guys, it is time for a camel of the day. Just put that right there. And put my, my suit super old peanut butter back there in my original can camels which we have went through on live streams and uh, had a few there to give away at the uh, meetup but it's time for one of these before we figure out which one of these we're going to get into or should I say as we as we figure out which one of these we're going to get into. Um, I don't know what's left in here. Let me get the rest of this survival kit out of the way again. I think this is super cool. <laughs> it reminds me of like uh, Simpson, the Simpsons, like Homer working in the nuke plant. I don't know why. It just rem it reminds me of something like that. <gasps> <clears throat> And, of course, my cat's going to want to come over here and bother me now. Because he's just cool like that. I love him. <laughs> he's a little... A little crap head. A little poopy head. Yeah, you want to play with that. Don't. Please, don't. <laughs> you little butthole. Oh, man. Don't, dude. I'm leaving the uh, the knife out because I like it so well. I cannot. He's trying to carry off the chem light. He's trying to carry that off. Stupid cat. Can't do that, cat. Okay. So I have got it. Like, got it laid out here. I, you guys may have suggested something while I wasn't watching, but. Uh, Here it is. Is there anything that's up here that you guys would really like to see? I think I commented on all YouTube. On I think I commented on all. YouTube might have sent me a stalker spam. Say what now? Wigging it with Irish Colleen. I did. Laugh out loud. Kitty rave under the house. Yeah, <laughs> I ought to attach that little chem light to his hand so he can he he'd freak out and start batting his hand around. Anyways, uh, Caitlin says a oh, ration mat up. I think you mean mash up. Uh, Smitty, you never know. Of course, CT likes the the beans and wings because he is Canadian, of course. And uh, let's check out this. This thing's burning really good. It's actually it tastes really good too. Mm. Let's see what's in this thing. Miss Gail says I've been lurking tonight. How about the British? I swear I opened this thing. I mean I know I did. Freaking reviewed it. 
There we go. Huh. How about that? Like, there was enough tape that whenever I pressed it closed, it's like it, it's like it sealed itself right back up. It is true, Canadians like wieners. <laughs> yeah, I can't disagree. I cannot disagree. They like sausages and wieners. I know Smitty loves wieners. Let's see what's in this thing. I don't even remember. I don't know what we got left over in here. Uh, I got half of the uh, fruit flavored energy drink powder left. Enough to make one of those. It's, uh, grapefruit boiled sweets. Thai style chicken soup. Soup, soup. We got us a Thai food tea. And a. What is that? Case for sure? What is that? I can't even remember. Nest Cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nest Cafe. Nest Cafe, anyway. Nest Cafe coffee up in now. Up in here, meow. Come on, meow. <laughs> you don't like Canadian... You don't like Canadian wieners? I thought all Canadians like wieners. <laughs> I'm just I'm just playing, man. Uh, here is the disgusting cola-flavored drink powder, which they can keep. That over there in Britain. Rather not even have it. Here's the hot chocolate drink, orange flavored, which is kind of weird. I mean, it's all right, but it's not great. Uh, here's a really good drink mix, which is the grapefruit flavored drink mix. The British and the German, both of those countries know how to do their grapefruit drinks. I'm telling you right now, they're, as, they're the most accurate fruit powder drinks that I've ever had to tasting like a actual squeezed fruit. These are very, very reminiscent of the real thing as close as you can get in a powder form i would venture to say and i would say a lot of people in the uh, comments would back me up on that right now okay here we have a chocolate brownie and i may attest that the that the british chocolate brownie is in my personal opinion considerably better than the u.s one uh february of 2019 so this thing's past its best buy date but who cares I'm sure it's 100% fine because it's been stored by me since 20, early 2015 or 16, I'm not sure, 15, 16, sorry, 2016, nope, 2017, sorry, <laughs> since 2017, and we also have potatoes and beans and tomato sauce, I've had this main, this main from, uh, from ORPs before, I'm not impressed with it, but it is a good solid meal. As far as that goes for, uh, you know, sustenance, it'll definitely get you by and you won't be hungry. So that's what I got left in here. Now, the Thai-style chicken soup sounds pretty interesting. I got to say, I'll bet you it's probably pretty good. A mildly spiced soup with coconut and chicken and brown rice. You know, that's probably not too bad, I would have to say. And then I don't have a clue exactly what is in the beans and weans from 2018 i don't think there's a review of the 2018 beans and weans up on youtube i could be wrong about that but i looked a couple weeks oops i'm knocking crap over left and right i looked a couple weeks ago and i did not see i did not see the uh the 2018 beans and weans up oh really firm bark so there it's like almost no spices huh so it's pretty flavorless. I'll take your word for it. So nothing really is jumping out at me in the ORP as being something that I can't live without tonight. Nothing in there is, is impressive at all. I took all the good stuff out <laughs> when we did the review of it. A couple weeks ago, like I tried I tried to showcase the best parts of this ration outside of taking out the chocolate brownie, which, again, that's a personal opinion thing. It's not my favorite dessert that the, that they have by far. Um, the sticky toffee pudding is amazing when you heat it up and you eat it properly. And uh, what else? Uh, the ginger. The ginger pudding. Oh, man. And it's not pudding like we have here in the U.S. It's, it's a pudding like it's a cake with pudding-type stuff on it. Like, yeah. So the ORP is out. The operational ration pack from Britain 
is out of the mix. Again, this will be a quick run through of a meal. Um, we'll probably just try it out really quick, and then uh, and then I'll wrap it up and finish my meal up. So we have what I'm going to assume is probably like a nine, 88 to 92. <laughs> I'm guessing, or 98 to 94 even, but I'll be honest, I don't feel the flameless ration heater in here, which usually it's on the back of the 93, 94, and 95, usually I can feel it right here, and uh, that, that puts this at being a 92 to 88, that's, I could be wrong, it could be underneath that, that or on the other side of this back box as well, it does happen, that does happen as well. But usually I can feel it, and I don't feel it in there, so I don't think there's going to be, I do not think there's going to be a flameless ration heater inside of this. I wouldn't mind, uh, uh, sticky toppy pudding was a, was okay, but a bit disappointing. Yeah, it's got to be, it's definitely got to be eaten hot, I don't know if you eat it hot. Um, and then as it just starts to cool down, and it's like, it's above being lukewarm but it's really warm that's when the best flavor comes out of it um, but you gotta you gotta always refer back to the fact that these things are shelf stable and meant to last for years it's not the same as going into a uh, a pastry shop and getting a sticky toffee pudding or a ginger pudding As far as British desserts go, the there's those, and then there was a uh, there's a flapjack, that's a bunch of like fruit particles and this breading type stuff that's all mashed together, that I really enjoyed as well. So that's uh, that's something that they got going on in there that I really liked. So. I don't know how long that thing's been burning, but uh, it's still not done and. That's pretty impressive for a 30-year-old cigarette. 1989. I want to open the IMP because... I don't know. It's the only beans and wieners that I have, though. It's the only one. Got my, my order in at MRE Nation. Wow. My new favorite lentil stew. Got some of the MRE cornbread. Oh, you can't go wrong with the cornbread, AJ. Uh, the new MRE Nation chocolate bars. Um, their take on the tropical bars. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Um, they got some new desserts coming out this week, too. Uh, new desserts, new mains, and new drink mixes. So be looking out for that. You guys definitely, like I said, go over there and, and subscribe to their YouTube channel. That way they can come out and tell you guys about it later this week. And that'll keep you up to date going in the future as well. Um, one smoke? If I was going to smoke, yeah, I'd do more than that. But uh, my email's in my... Sorry about that, guys. Cut out yet again. Um, what are we going to do here? Old or new? Always like going through the oldies. This is a uh, pork with rice and barbecue sauce. I don't know if I mentioned that. I just mentioned it was menu number one. And then it's going to be from 92 to 88. 88 to 92 range. I got to try Regis's NHL ring on. Or Reggie's. Okay, Reggie's. Reggie's? NHL ring on. When he visited my... My Faces School? Huh? I got to try on a uh, Cleveland Cavaliers championship ring about a month ago from 2016. That was pretty cool. Um, that was a that was a really unique experience, I gotta say, that I was pretty stoked to have uh, to have gotten to do. My cat will not leave me alone. Come here, kitty. Here. Here. Say hello to everyone. Don't drink my chocolate either. Here. Look. Here. Yep. I knew you was going to do that. You're being a butthole, dude. Literally. Here. Right here, dude. Right here. Look up here. Yeah, I know. You want the hot chocolate. I know. You're a weirdo. 
Yeah, the uh, the Cleveland Cavalier Cavaliers championship ring, the front of it was about was about that big around. And I'm not even exaggerating; like it was absolutely humongous. It's the biggest uh, ring I've ever held in my hand. Like as far as like the the mass and just the face of it was absolutely humongous. Never thought that uh, I would get to do something like that. Actually, uh, dude, no, no. All right, you gotta go. Go on, buddy. He knocked down my water. Uh, I hear one can use those rings as a boat anchor. <laughs> I actually have pictures. I don't know if I, it. No, it's on the phone. That dang it, I can't show you guys. I don't think. I think it's on the one that I'm using to uh, to do the live stream with. No. Oh. But I have pictures of myself having that thing on. Let me see if it's on this one. I don't think it is. Let me just check, though, because I'm not 100% sure. Cat, dude, come on, go. Yeah, no, if it's on the one that I'm filming with right now, I'm pretty sure. Yep, yep, yep. Almost positive. It is. Dang it. That sucks. Oh well. Next next week I can transfer and show you guys that championship ring that I had on. Hey, stop it, cat. God. You're a nuisance. He's trying to steal everything out of the survival kit. Literally trying to steal everything out of survival. What are you doing? Cat. What do you want? Causing me troubles. Okay. I gotta open a ration. <laughs> I don't have to, but I want to. I say uh, we're gonna go with the old one. We're gonna see what uh, Narutaki Kun's condition on these MREs are. Um, he said they were good, so let's just find out. And uh, you know what? I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this survival blade. To cut this bad boy open. I don't know how well you or how much you guys like looking into the old rations, but I enjoy looking into the old rations. So, um, AJ, go and uh, tap on live chat if you can and see if that brings it back for you. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what year we'll find out what year this thing is, too, at the same time. Oh, there is a flameless ration heater, so it's a 93 or up. Okay. Just because I couldn't feel it doesn't mean it wasn't there. And it's because it was folded over down that way. Because if it had been folded over up that way, I would have felt it probably. Well, let's find out, man. That's, I'm surprised. I really honestly didn't think this thing was going to be a 93 or up. So. Oh, looky there. It's a 94. It is a 94. Okay. There we go. 1994. Start off. We have our pork with rice and barbecue sauce. We have a fairly decent looking flameless ration heater. A little bit of loose filings in there. Not too awful bad. But there we have G. Schultz. Guys, if you didn't know, next week... The live stream is going to be all for G. Schultz. Wow, look at the freaking stamp on that thing. Let me see if I can show you guys the texture going on in that. Wow, look at this. It, like, they stamped that thing so hard that it might have actually damaged the bag. Because that is very extremely stamped in there. Like, super hardcore. Let's see if I can... You see that? Like, it's raised up on the other side like Braille. Huh. But anyways, next week, guys, my live stream is going to be, it's literally going to be for G. Schultz. All the proceeds from that live stream are going to go to Mr. G. Schultz, which is a pioneer of the MRE and ration review community. He has been along, around a long time doing reviews here on YouTube. If you don't believe me, go check out his channel, please. 
and uh, give him a subscribe and, and check out the fact that I think he's been doing reviews for eight years now, seven or eight years, like a really long time. And uh, I think he is the uh, most senior of the, the the people that are still doing ration reviews still to this day. And uh, I've been wanting to do this for him for a while because I, I knew he was having like equipment issues where he needed like better filming equipment, which I'm happy with my filming equipment now. I had issues with that for almost a year. I had troubles. So I, I'm blessed with having good equipment now outside of I still haven't gotten a computer and that's only my fault. I do I have saved up enough money through the, the uh, my Patreon to get a new computer. I just have to get one. Um, but anyways, that's the reason that I wanted to do a live stream for G Schultz. He's he is a great guy. And uh, it just so happened that it lined up with his birthday which was yesterday. But the thing is He's out celebrating with his family tonight. That's the only reason we're not doing it tonight. I had a plan for doing tonight, and I, you know, he told me he, was, he wasn't going to be able to make it to the live stream because his family had previous plans on taking him out for his birthday tonight. So that's that's again that's the only reason why we are not doing it tonight. So therefore, next Saturday, the live stream is going to be for. And about G. Schultz, I'm going to try to have him here on a phone call so he can uh, so he can be a part of it. We're going to do... Uh, I have an idea of what I'm going to review. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be his specialty, so I think he'll be able to talk me through a lot of that. And I think he'll have some great information to add in on that as we talk through it and go through the rations. Because it's going to be two. I'm going to be doing two. And they're going to be United States MREs together. I'm going to try to find... An old menu and a new menu um, of either the same thing, like an old and a new spaghetti, or I'm going to do an old menu one and a new menu one, or an old menu 15 and, an old, and a new menu 15, see the changes over the years, etc. That's that's my plan, and uh, that's hopefully what, uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So, anyway, next week, guys, look for that. Please come and support G. Schultz on the live stream. Again, everything that I receive through that live stream. I'll ha also have, I'm going to set up another way that it, any, if anyone wants to donate to that live stream, I'm going to set up a different way for you guys to do that. That way Google doesn't take their cut of it if you don't want them to do that. Because I know most of you guys know that Google takes a, way too much. They take way too much of a cut of the, uh, the super chats and stuff. So... I'm going to set up a different way for you guys to do that for the G. Schultz live stream, and uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully I, I can see you guys all next weekend, and, and I want you guys to pass the word along all this week, and I will be making multiple posts this week. That's why I didn't do it last week, though, because I knew that there was like going to be some controversy, uh, some things come up that were going to conflict with my plans, so that's why we're going to be doing it the next week, uh, this coming Saturday. A week from today. There's our crackers. They look perfect. They have a D stamped on them for whatever reason. I've never understood what the reasoning behind that is. 179th day of 1994. There we go. Looking pretty good, though. Oh, look at that. Huh. We got the uh, sugar-free fruit punch drink mix. This is one of my least favorite items that they started putting into MREs made with NutraSweet makes eight fluid ounces so this is back before they had the uh, the super concentrated super sweeteners and super flavors like they do now that make a 20 ounce fluid bottle or a 20 fluid ounce bottle there's your sugar free drink here we have a grape jelly one ounce Ameripec Incorporated, Wayno Park, California. Interesting. Great jelly. Here we have a cocoa beverage powder, of course. Classic, very good stuff. And we have a very interesting feeling accessory package. This thing feels 
It was pretty interesting. And in 1994, I thought they had went to the clear accessory packets. I'm kind of confused. I didn't know they still had the brown accessory packets around in 1994, but okay. And again, it feels like there's something going on in there. I don't know what exactly is going on in there. And then we have an applesauce. And anybody who is in here that knows me knows that I do like the old applesauce. I dig an aged applesauce. They take on a unique flavor that I really enjoy. It has this weird, I don't know, it just does, it's, it's a weird delicacy that you can only get in an aged MRE that I know of with a still edible, what would this be, 25-year-old applesauce? Is that correct? 94? 34, 14, yep, 25-year-old applesauce. Not very many people would venture into eating 25-year-old applesauce, but I'm old smoky, and you know I enjoy the old aged delicacy-type foods. So let's see what's going on inside this, uh, this massive... I mean, this is like... Look at that. It's bigger than the applesauce in the box itself. It's almost... Okay... So I have that lined up exactly with the top of that. It's almost as big as the main box itself. And it's really heavy. Like, Let's see what's going on inside this thing. I like this accessory pack. But I'd, I'd almost, honestly, I'd like to keep this sealed. Because these things are just like gold. In my personal opinion. These things, they hold up forever. And in an emergency situation, this is like a little miniature survival kit. You know, you can have gum in there, you can have coffee in there, sugar in there, creamer in there, sometimes candy in there. You don't know. I mean, just, well, you do know. You can find out what's in them. But, just saying, like, I love these. So, let's check it out and see what's in this one. All right. So, first out, what I was feeling that was large and, and solid, we have the milk caramels or milk caramels and uh, these look really good these things turn dark after a while sometimes and they're they get disgusting those ones look like they, they are probably still edible and uh, the accessory packet smells really good okay next up we have the classic red taster's choice which is probably going to be crap and then we have our U.S. issued butt ration or toilet paper or napkins or paper towels or whatever you want to call them. I call them a butt ration. That's what they are. And you have your cream substitute dry non dairy. Feels perfect. I would definitely use that in a heartbeat. Here is our refreshing towelette going to be orange or lemon scented I would assume kind of an odd thing there's a six gram package of domino sugar four grams of iodized salt cat bro look you're going to knock all my stuff over Here we have our package of matches, which are red tip. They're black with red tips. And they are produced by Dee Dee Bean and Sons, North Carolina. Two things left in the accessory packet. There's an empty accessory packet. We have our bottle of Tabasco, which looks absolutely fabulous. Look at that. Looking really good. Gotta say, Narotaki Kun sent, some, sent a, uh, uh, some good MREs here, it looks like. And here we have, made by Adams, we have Peppermint Chiclets Gum. Looking amazing. Love these. Um, I know these little boxes came clear back in the 70s as well, because I have gotten these boxes just like this out of MCIs. So, there they are. And uh, last but not least, you have your biodegradable MRE spoon, which we will not be using. 
And you know what? Like, I'm going to break out my foreignmre.com eating utensil. I also have this one right here. The K-Bar that Steve sent me. That has the uh, spork on one end. And also has a knife contained inside the handle. So, cut up your steak or whatever you uh, want to cut up in that. And it just locks back in there. Locks in really well too, which I like that. Alright. Let's, uh, you know what? We're two hours and 15 minutes in. Huh. I may just save this and eat it later. Like, as soon as I wrap this up, because I, I do plan on eating this. Although, I did want to kind of see what kind of condition this was in. What would tell me? I mean, the Tabasco tells me a lot just by looking at that. Like, that is a good-looking Tabasco. That is a bad-looking Tabasco. This cat is getting on my freaking nerves. Like, bad. Really bad. Cat. Please get down. I know. You love me. I know. I know. I know. You ran away from your home that you had and came back here. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> You're silly. Okay. <laughs> ah, cat. He doesn't even have a name because I gave him away. And he knew, the people never came back and got him after he ran away, after they had him for like four to six months. I don't know. They had him a while. <laughs> I hear you, JC. I just have anniversaries of my 20th birthday. What? I just have anniversaries of my 20th birthday. Oh, okay, I get it. So that way you stay 20 forever. You're just having an anniversary every year of your 20th. I got it. You should name the cat Bandit for Smokey and the Bandit. Hell, well, that's a good idea. Yeah, he could be a bandit too because he's trying to steal everything. He was literally pulling stuff out of that mess kit with his claws. Like, he would grab it, and he would, like, pull it out. Like a little goober. Alright, what am I doing here? Let's, uh, I know the crackers are going to be good. I know the jelly will be good. Stored well or not, those two things. I'll tell you what will tell me a lot. Let's take a look at the applesauce. Let's just do that. Since it's so late in the live stream, it's kind of late to start a meal. Even though... I do plan on eating this tonight. A basset bound. <laughs> a basset hound calling Fred. Yeah, no doubt. Let's uh, let's check out the inside of this. Let me get out the uh, MRE. Or the foreign MRE. Dot com. Let me get out the foreign MRE dot com. Eating utensil here. I keep it in its little bag and it's not a spork oh miss marilyn happy birthday mr wonderful that are you referring okay that's gotta be something to do with tracy right because tracy is wonderful <laughs> well, thank you so much for that super chat miss marilyn and thank you for tuning in to the live stream i know you was going to have troubles trying to get here tonight really appreciate you making it we're all glad to have you here obviously Without Miss Marilyn, the live stream's kind of weird. I gotta say, it'd be kind of weird without Miss Marilyn. All right, let's see. This is legitimately. We are well over 160 days through this year. Let's see. 25 year old applesauce. 
that Old Smoky considers a delicacy. I know it's weird. And it is brown a little bit. Or it could have cinnamon in it. Which I don't think it does. Okay, it smells really good. It smells like apple. Give you guys a good look at that. And go in with our eating utensil. I, I see everybody call this a spork. But this is obviously a fork and a knife on this end and a spoon on this end. So a spork is a spoon and a fork combined in the same, you know, on the same end. This, this to me is an eating utensil, a camping utensil, camping eating utensil, a multi-purpose camping eating utensil, I don't know. But here we go. This is a pretty large bite of 25-year-old applesauce. Let's just uh, let's just go for it. Wow, that's really chunky. Usually, it's not that thick. Like the chunks of it are very, very thick. CT says, thank you for finally clarifying that, Smokey. <laughs> well, it's just been one of those things that's drove me kind of nuts because I hear everybody call it a spork, and it's obviously not a spork. Um, the Canadians have a spork, and its nickname is S-P-O-R-K. There it is. That's a spork. This is not a spork. Dude. Cat. Oh. 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 Mmm. So no fermented taste. It tastes like um I don't know. If you guys uh have been around very long, if you ever watched Mr. Browning, Mr. Browning used to have a black cat that would be part of all of his videos. Um Sparky, something spark, spark. Sparky. Uh I can't remember his name. I think it's Sparky or something. Hey, come on, dude. Come on, you gotta get down. Come on. Come on. Majestic kitty. Go on. Um, I actually like this. It's it's not it's not toasty. You know, it's it's not fermented. It's still nice and sweet. Very apple-y in flavor. It's the largest chunk applesauce I think I've ever had. Um, yes, every Saturday. Um, between 7 and 8 o'clock usually. I was a little late tonight. What are you doing? Hmm? Okay, I thought it was the cat. But yes, live stream schedule is every Saturday guaranteed. And then some days I do them in between. Okay. I drink water. From those water bottles or are those box thingies I'm confused with what you're talking about uh, CT or Mike or Canadian I could stutter a little bit tonight Canadian trucker all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this probably since uh, since I already started on it I mean I don't know man there's something weird like the texture, I'm, I, I've never, like again, I've never had an applesauce with such large chunks of apple in it. It's, uh, it's not normal to me. Usually the uh, applesauce is pretty, you know, very, pretty smooth. And quite small. But just having 25-year-old, it, I don't know, man. It's not something you can do every day. Because a lot of times you'll get this stuff and it will be fermented and it'll be kind of weird. Even though I like it, most people wouldn't eat it. 
this this applesauce right here, I think anyone would eat this. It doesn't have anything weird about it. Not at all. My stupid dog is barking like an idiot. Let's check out one of these caramels, or caramels, depending on where you're from. Hey, hey Stella, that's enough. Curious. These things right here will tell you a lot about an MRE, too. These are a good item to get because, honestly, I think they go weird fairly easily with heat. You know, heat stress. And uh, if you get them and these things are good, then you can pretty much guarantee that your main's going to be okay. I'm um, starting to think you, lie, you live like in, like in the animal kingdom. <laughs> yeah, my dog and cats. The dog is a pain in my butt sometimes, but... Alright, hang on. Here we go. Let's, uh... There we go. Also, my bird. My bird's actually doing a lot better. It got hurt a couple weeks ago. Um, it got hurt two weeks ago, exactly, on, on a Saturday. And I was scared to death. I thought he, was, he wasn't going to make it. Um, patched him up the best I could. And thought about taking him to the vet and stuff. But, uh, nah, man, he pulled through like a champ. So let's see what kind of texture we have going on here. Oh, yeah, that's that's good. Okay, nope. It does smell weird. It smells weird. Now that oh, now that it's out of the package, I'm not going to go uh, full all in. I'm just going to eat half of it and see what that's like. Trudeau attacked your bird. I oh, was at the Canadian. Um, what is he? A Canadian Prime Minister? Justin Trudeau. Okay, nope. Yep, nope. I want to spit this out. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to swallow it. Okay, that's that's, it's, that's disgusting. I mean, it's not good. It's not good at all. It tastes pukey. If that... It, it has like a stomach bile taste. Which I'm guessing is rancid milk. Has a sour taste to it that you typically you know that like if you had a sour stomach if you guys have ever had that happen like that's kind of what the flavor of that is in your mouth it's pretty disgusting um and i don't want any more of it and i want i want that to go get out of my sight so let me get rid of that wrap it up in this uh deep rich coffee package right here yeah that just needs to just needs to hide right there and there because it's just no good yuck all right cat go on seriously dude i'm gonna use this fantastic little tiny man that got really thick when it cooled down jeez some powder settled to the bottom man oh man you know what like i'm gonna add a little tiny bit of hot water to that because there's so much powder settled in the bottom of that huh but yeah them caramels they, they smell like um, they smell like old nasty I would say like old nasty books, old nasty cardboard in a way, but they also have this weird sour smell to them at the same time. Like, they're just not good. Not good at all.
Hopefully I got that to dissolve in there. Oh, actually that's still really good even though I just doubled the amount of water that was in there if not more. You gotta go cat. Seriously, you're getting on my nerves. Oh. Sorry about the, uh, keeps interrupting me there. What else can I, let's take a look at the uh, taster's choice. That'll also give us a, if this has survived, I will be very surprised. I mean, it's, it's possible. I'm going to say it's survived. Oh, and I'm right. Look at that. It's perfect. No dry mold at all. Look at that. I'm surprised. Huh. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Huh. Well, good deal. So I'll fix that up here in a minute. After we finish up here. With my creamer and sugar and crap. Of course, we know the matches will work. But, so, testing it out, man. Like, um, the only thing that was really weird is the caramels, which I kind of expected anyways, because these things are 95% of the time they're going to be weird. The only time that I think I've had them that they weren't weird, they were in those really thick um, secondary packages like the crackers. The cracker packaging is very thick metal, whereas this is very thin, very lightweight type of material, which is, it's good to have them in a secondary seal, because I have seen these just loose in your MRE bag before, which is the worst way to get them. Um, this is probably, uh, you know, this is obviously the second best way to get them is in the accessory packet like this, except I don't like the fact that they kind of permeate through the entire accessory packet your sugar will smell like it your creamer will smell like it. it won't taste like it unless they're really 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 degraded and bad and melted um and usually they'll ruin the coffee uh you know from the moisture that comes out of the caramels which i don't know how that sometimes somehow this this taster's choice survived so good deal on that but you know it's all good. Like I said, the only way I've seen them really survive, survive, is when they've been in this extra thick packaging like this. They do sometimes come in their own package that is really, really thick like this. I think from 92, 93, somewhere along in there, there's a couple menus where the, the caramels come in their own packaging. And they will hold up sometimes if the MRE has been stored properly. But uh, everything else here is going to hold up, I think. With, with looking at the Tabasco, the applesauce not having any souring going on to it, the pork with rice and barbecue sauce is going to be good tonight. And, uh, of course, the grape jelly and crackers is going to be good. And that's got some weird, like... That's going on on both ends. You guys can kind of see... There's like this weird discoloration going on. You see that? I don't know what's causing look at here too it's like this oranging i don't know if it's like bled through the packaging or what there's a date code stamped on there 4152 of the weird sugar-free fruit punch drink mix which i will not be drinking that by the way since i don't have to i'm not making a complete review of it we did check out the hundred dollar pilot survival ration kit tonight and everything that was edible in there we tried out now the end of this live stream I'm going to be having a 1957 lucky strike that I got from salty crock collectibles he gave me this whenever we were in Kentucky and uh, proud to have whoa wow what the heck that's like split open the only, I, what I think happened there was that was probably stuck to another cigarette inside of there like that and it ripped apart because these things were packed so tightly inside of there but uh 
having a lucky strike tonight. That's the one and only one I've ever I've seen come out of this pack that had any type of issue like that. So that had to be had to be stuck to another one in there or something. But uh, we're going to be having one of these lucky strikes right now, and we're going to talk about. Oops, let me get my lighter that K Man gave me. I'm going to be lighting it with this. Welcome to Las Vegas lighter with the green flame. There it is. Okay. So re a little bit of a recap tonight. Got to ask yourself, Smokey, do you feel lucky? Well, I do tonight. Or today, I should say. Pretty lucky day for me today, I got to say. It's been an extraordinary day. doubt I'll be able to talk this day anytime soon and hopefully I'll be able to tell you guys a little bit more about that soon that's hopefully maybe even next week let me see here what mr. Bob okay so a little bit of recap until Tuesday at midnight which is the 24th till September 24th 2019 so anybody rewatching this after that point this code will no longer be any good, but anyways, from right now until Tuesday at midnight, the 24th, the code OS10, one-time use only, you can uh, per customer, one-time per customer use, OS10 is 20% off your entire order over MRE Nation. You guys go take advantage of that. Really, uh, think it's awesome to have the code given to me for this this particular live stream um, since we're getting to check out the cool pilot survival ration stuff now MRE Nation is going to be sending me some really cool stuff and it'll be here by next week but I may do a midweek live stream with those items to introduce some new things that uh, that are happening this week at MRE Nation so definitely be on the lookout for a midweek live stream I may be able to pull one off for you guys. Hopefully, uh, just depends on the scheduling that I have going on here. We'll see. But, uh, and, uh, again, I'm going to try to shoot for that because I want I want to show you guys those items and I want to see them myself and get to try them out myself. So, hopefully, I can get to do that. How long does the code last again? Uh, until Tuesday at midnight, the 24th. September 24th, 2019. So what is that? What, three days, basically? About three days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yep, three days. Three full days. So, if anything outside of that, OS10 is my typical everyday code over MRE Nation. That one works all the time, and it is active. You can use that code all the time. So, if you see this after or whatever, just use that code. Uh, any orders over $79.99, so it has to be 80 bucks and over free shipping which is a killer killer deal um, that in itself is better than the 20% off but I don't know if you can combine those two or not I'm gonna go out on a limb and bet that they'll probably it that probably will happen but I, I cannot guarantee you that because I do not know I did not ask about that then they also have a bunch of other stuff happening this week um, they have the five new 24-hour black dog Bob menus coming out the Black Dog Bob rations are coming back. The 24-hour Black Dog Bob rations. He is releasing two 48-hour menus, which I'm really excited to get to see one of those. I can, honestly, I can't wait to see what a 48-hour ration looks like coming from uh, MRE Nation, because the MRE Nation 24-hour uh, rations are so huge that a 48-hour ration is going to be absolutely insane. So there's that to look forward to. Then they are also they have five first strike menus coming out as well. First strike twenty four hour rations, five different menus. That's going to be your foods that are more easy to eat on the go, etc. They have uh, some other really cool stuff coming out this week. They have new menus items. Period. There's new desserts coming out, new drink mixes, and also new mains. So all three of those new, they have new items coming in, which is a 
big deal in my personal opinion when you get into the uh, availability of rations to uh, to civilians and or civilian rations in general because I don't know why but these companies limit themselves to making basically the same exact stuff for civilians as they do for the military sure it's cool that when you buy the Warnick rations or the ever safes I mean the ever safes or the Sapacos or whatever that you're getting military grade items you're getting the exact same items that are in the military rations current at that time but at the same time wouldn't it be nice to have some variation added to that that's where you get into what MRE Nation is doing MRE Nation is adding a whole new choice to us as you know building our own survival stocks or our own food stocks and that's really you know what you're doing when I, I enjoy eating MREs and rations, but it's also nice knowing that I have food if anything happens. If we have a horrible winter and we get trapped in, like this did happen years ago. It's been a long time since we've had a bad winter storm. But a few years ago, we lost power for like a week. A few years ago. It's been quite a few years ago. But anyways, we lost power for about a week. And you know you couldn't really get around much. Trees were falling everywhere. It was a really bad ice storm, I think, is what started it all off. And we had a bunch of snow, too. But when you get into a situation like that and you know for a fact that you have food to get your family through that, you don't have to worry about making it to the grocery store when the shelves are going to be empty and all that stuff. Keeping water stocked up is a really good idea. But also having food that you can eat anywhere, anytime. That's another big important thing. I logged in earlier and had leave after two minutes. So we're glad to see you here, Shocker. What are you doing, dude? You missed the uh, pilot survival ration kit part, or pilot survival kit slash ration part. But uh, you can always re-watch that. And I do have codes and stuff going on, and MRE Nation's got some really cool stuff happening this week. Uh, the new menus, like I mentioned, there's... Uh, also, starting Thursday, they're going to be having that Cracker Jack ration thing coming out. You guys definitely refer to their channel for the details on that. But it's called the Cracker Jack ration. Each ration is going to have some sort of a prize of some kind inside. Up, you know, up to big prizes, little prizes, in between prizes, everything in between, I guess. It's going to be something. So, look forward to that. Um, uh yeah we're definitely past due for the mother of nor'easters yeah i i've been saying we were going to have a bad winter for the last two years and we still haven't had one um yeah i know i i can't wait to see your video on it i think you should take it out in the woods and really really go to town with it i wanted to be outside for this and start a fire outside and you know boil some water outside and try to you know try the foods out and stuff but it just didn't happen that way tonight even though that's what i i, I wanted to do um uh you missed the puke flavored caramels <laughs> yeah that's what these are too shocker don't these taste like puke they do they taste like stomach like stomach bile or sour milk type d i don't know they have a weird weird flavor so this thing's went out on me three times so far. Maybe four. Four times. I think it's from where I'm not puffing on it. I don't know. These aren't as bad as some that I've had. I mean, obviously I ate half of one and I was able to get it down, but um, I wouldn't eat another one. And... Uh, <laughs> These things, like I said, they just don't typically hold up very well. If they're in that extra thick packaging, sometimes they'll hold up and still be edible. But uh, in this case, with them being in that lightweight accessory packet material, they didn't hold up. Just the age with the, uh, the milk solids that are in it. Ingredients are corn syrup, sugar, sweetened condensed skim milk, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, one or more of the following soybean, coconut, or palm oil, sodium cassinate, salt emulsifiers, vegetable lectin, artificial flavor, certified collars, 
and Sorbitol. Look at that. Sorbitol. Oh. If they're chocolate caramels, then they come with, they have chocolate liqueur in them. How about that? I've not, I've never noticed that before. So these, they did have the dark colored, the super dark colored ones are chocolate caramels. And they, uh, the chocolate flavor comes from chocolate liqueur. Huh, how about that? I didn't know that. But yeah, that skim milk is the problem for sure. That, uh, what did it say it was? It was, uh. Uh, sweet and condensed skim milk that's the problem after 25 years it's just not not held up see you smoky glad i caught you on this one bad monk 2230 thank you for the super chat bad monk we were glad to have you in this live stream hopefully we see you every saturday with us uh come it becomes a thing a lot of folks come back every Saturday. That it's it's kind of like a live stream family that I have going on here. That's what I call them. They're my family. I enjoy each and every one of the, their companies, and I've got to meet a bunch of them just here recently at the Ration Meetup, the MRE Ration Meetup that we had in Kentucky at MRE Nation and at hotels that we had. Did a live stream from my hotel room. If you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. That was a really fun live stream to do, even though my filming sucked. I did a horrible job at not filming people's faces. I think it was because I, I, I felt kind of embarrassed to film their face. But I will grant you that next time I do a live stream like that, I will not do that. I will be right up in everybody's face. And they if they're uncomfortable with it, then they can tell me and tell me to move on or something. Because uh, it made for a really weird live stream because I didn't, I don't know. Because like I said, I think I just felt kind of weird about it and didn't didn't like film it the way I felt like I should have but it still turned out it was a good live stream and about halfway through it I kind of got over my my nervousness of holding the camera in people's face and I started doing it a little more so got to meet Shocker uh, like we didn't know each other yeah uh, I got to meet a lot of good people I mean I've known them for years a lot of these folks and uh it's been my it was my second time getting to meet k-man creator of mre info um housel which is over on mreinfo.com he's a, a big moderator over there he does a lot of the a lot of the dirty work on uh, mreinfo.com he's on there all the time taking care of issues and, and taking care of things and, and editing things and just doing all kinds of stuff so housel's a big part of the uh the mreinfo.com community and uh got to meet steve you know steve again those three right there let's see was there anybody else there from the first meetup or was it just us four nope bob five so us five let me think i think that's it i think it was k-man housel steve me and bob i think we were the five that were there at this meetup that were there at the first meetup in Doswell, Virginia. So I know, I'm just reminiscing and thinking out loud to you guys, but I, I don't know. I'm just trying to think if there was anybody else that was there for both meetups, but I think it was just five of us that, have, that made it to both of them. Um, Roswell, no Doswell with a D like dog Doswell, Doswell, Virginia. Yeah, I'd never heard of it before I went there. Hey Tracy, good to see you. It was good to see all the all the folks there. It was really awesome. Um, JC is messing with me. Took it to, oh yeah, the Roswell thing. Okay. Uh, grew up on condensed milk. Just introduced it to my kids. <laughs> Yeah, um, my kids have been introduced to sweet and condensed milk because of rations. I never really messed with it until I started eating rations all the time. I got bit by something. I don't know what. But my hands are tore up too. The bird bit me right there. He bit me good too. Focus. Yeah, he bit me. Because he's a, he's a butthole. Not cool at all.
All right, so winding down the live stream. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for being here this Saturday. Had 38 folks still here at the end right now. Had some amazing super chats tonight. Let me go back and recap those really quickly, maybe. Uh, super chat. There we go. Uh, CT kicked it off right at the very beginning. Uh, kick some butt, Smokey, was his comment on that. The $69.99. Uh, CA $69.99, whatever that means. Canadian $69.99. And then we had uh, Nathan Stickney came in and said, uh, excited for you, brother. And uh, you guys will find out what he meant by that. Uh, maybe next Saturday? I don't know. I'll find out. I'll find out. Hopefully I can let you guys know next Saturday. Um, then Smitty came in with, uh, I'm not a big shot, but this is what's I, what's I appreciate about you and about you. And I think that was his uh, way of trying to get me to sound Canadian, much I didn't do a very good job. But appreciated the uh, lot, the uh, super chat. And then uh, Bad Monk bought his first MRE yesterday because, because of me, and now can't get enough. Menu 22, and that was Asian beef strips, I believe. And then Tracy Phillips came in with Miss Marilyn is wonderful. And we are going to enjoy one of her gooey butter cakes tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. After eating, uh, the first one went and bought a case. So I'm going to be having a fun month in the bathroom. That was a uh, bad monk again. Uh, and then Miss Marilyn said happy birthday to Mr. Wonderful. Miss, must be uh, Tracy. Tracy's birthday must, I don't know. I didn't hear about that. But if it is Tracy's birthday, happy birthday, Tracy. Uh, and then bad monk asked about the uh, live stream schedule with uh, another super chat. And then said, see you. Glad I caught you on the live. So hopefully Bad Monk will become part of a, right. he'll be a regular, she, he, whatever. Um, I don't know with that name, I can't uh, discern. But thanks each and every one of you guys for the uh, the super chats that I just read back through tonight. And it was really fun going through the, uh, the MRE Nation Pilot Survival Kit. I love having the mess kit. I'm going to go clean that thing up, take the sponge and scrub that, that stuff off the bottom. Uh, buenos machos todos. Buenos nachos. Buenos nachos. Buenos noches. Buenos noches. I can't read that. I don't know. I'm trying. Buenos noches. Tudo, tudos, tudos, tudos. Yep. You, you can hear how dumb I am. <laughs> I'm trying. Yes, the butter cakes. The gooey butter cakes do rule. The St. Louis gooey butter cakes. Um, to, 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 um, mom of autism MX4, autism X4. I uh, do not believe I've noticed that name in here before, but uh, glad you could make it. Absolutely glad to see any new names in the chat. Mints 440. Have a good night, Smokey. Sorry, I was a bit short this week. A bit short this week, huh? Oh man, it's okay. If you're talking about it in the chat, nobody minds. Yeah, we know. Man, everybody has good and bad weeks, good and bad days. Uh, they loved it. My grandfather had it in coffee every morning. Oh, your grandpa was a big sweet and condensed in the coffee kind of guy. That way you just knock it out with, you know, now we have the uh, the flavored coffee creamers and we have the, the sweet coffee creamers, you know, the coffee mates and stuff. So... It's a little different nowadays than it used to be back in the day. You know, sweet and condensed milk was kind of like somewhat of your flavored coffee creamer back then. You could add a nice sweet vanilla flavor to your coffee and have a nice, you know, nice, really nice coffee. Um, okay, so anyways, I know I'm chatting along and chatting along. Uh, JC says, uh, all the mo, 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 mo fo, faultism is my wife. Okay, so the mom for autism, mom of autism, I bet is what you're saying, is your wife, JC. Is that correct? Thumbs up if that's correct. Okay, good deal. All right. <laughs> okay, so we got the couple in here. Good deal. 
All right, so now I know. I'll remember that, too. I'll remember that. Um, oh, he served in World War II, so he probably picked up the sweet and condensed milk thing back during then because I know a lot of those guys picked up because they would have cases of sweet and condensed milk uh, brought in because I've actually seen cases of the sweet and condensed milk, and I know that's probably what a lot of them used it for was their coffee. So... But all right, guys, so uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys hanging out tonight. As always, it's really, really good to have you guys. And uh, next week, again, it's going to be the G. Schultz week. All the proceeds from that live stream are going to go to G. Schultz, and we're going to try to get him, or I'm going to, we are as a group or whatever, however that works out. We're going to see about trying to get him some uh a better camera or a camera so he can continue his filming of MREs that he's been doing for so many years. Uh, I believe he told me that the camera that he's using right now is the same camera that he started with eight years ago, if you guys believe that. So it must have been a really good camera eight years ago, but it's definitely, you know, it's obviously time for an upgrade because it's not working anymore. It, it stops working on him a lot, so. Um, good night, Miss Gale. Uh, good night, Tracy. Good night, Denise. Good night, Zeno. Good night, uh, JC's wife. Good night, JC. Christine. Uh, Daniel. 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 Uh, haven't had White Castle since the early to mid 90s myself. Yeah, I I hated it back. That's probably the last time I had it was late 90s. I think I remember the last time I had it. I was in Columbus, and it was probably like the year 2000 or 2001, probably 2001. And I did not like White Castle. It was awful back then. Maybe it's gotten better over the years. I don't know, but I didn't like it. I uh, just saw it earlier, I just saw online when I was looking up how to best steam their frozen burgers. I see. Oh, Jesse Michael, who dat? <laughs> he just came in with the super chat at the end, dude. Well, I appreciate that, man. Appreciate you. And uh, you guys go check out Jesse's channel. Click on Jesse's name right there. All 30 folks in here. I'll bet you at least half you guys aren't subscribed to Jesse over there. And Jesse... Became one of my close friends through the meetup. Definitely want to support him as much as I can. And I, I enjoy watching his content over there and watching his live streams. So if you guys can go over there and hook him up with a subscribe, that would be awesome. Um, Jesse's a freak and well worth it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap this thing up. Again, I appreciate you guys coming. I want to say a huge thanks to my patrons yet again. I always do this at the end of every video because I legitimately appreciate them so much. So all the uh, MRE info or the MRE Nation info that I have, I'm going to put in a pinned comment in this video later on after I get everything cleaned up and, and whatnot and probably have my dinner right here tonight. So anyways, if you guys need to... To recap on any of that info, you can either watch this video back or check the comment that is at the top. Again, that one code, the 20% off code is good one time. It's only going to be good till Tuesday. So after that, that code won't be any good. But anyways, I hope you guys had a good live stream with me tonight and enjoyed the pilot survival kit slash ration. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next live stream. Later.